Hello, welcome back to the channel. We are Greg and Jess with Drifter Journey, and we finally made it to Alaska. Yay. If you've been following along on the journey, uh, you know that we came from Baja a few months ago, and we got denied on our first attempt into Canada uh, to get through to Alaska, and we're here now. Yeah. So second attempt worked. We just drove four days straight through Canada, 10 to 12 hour days every day. It was kind of tiring. We literally just pulled in, uh, but we are at this super cool campground. It's Dead Man Lake Campground, just across the border into Alaska, uh, in the Tetlin Wildlife Refuge, I believe. Mm -hmm. But Jess is gonna make some dinner, and I will uh, give you a quick show around of this campsite, because it's a pretty cool spot. Okay, so this camp is actually free. I think there's about 12 sites in here. Uh, we found it on iOverlander. It is a birding location, and there's some birds squawking over here right now. Uh, but they have a super nice uh, screened in, what looks like a little cooking picnic area. Um, it said they usually have firewood, um, but being that I think it's still got kind of COVID closure going on, uh, there's not actually a host, there wasn't any firewood, but it does have a bunch of free canoes to take out right here. Uh, they got life jackets down here to use, and the bathrooms are super clean. So if you're looking for a place to stop over right when you get into Alaska or right before you head back through Canada, um, this might be, might be the prime spot. We're gonna go out and canoe real quick this morning, but the uh, skeeters are pretty wild. Choosing a canoe is serious business. Oh, I know, that's, that's part of it. Yeah. This is our, this is our rig. Yeah? Look at that. The camper? The camper. Sounds good. Hopefully it's, uh, it doesn't have holes in it. Yeah. How's that feel? Feels good. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I've never done this before. <laughs> uh, we need a couple oars. Yeah, I'll grab some paddles and the life jackets. Do you have a preference? Together we are free. Just be with me. Just be with me. Just be with me. Skeeters are over here. There are skeeters. Alaska, where humans are the prey species. There's one trying to sting our mic right now. Dummy. We want to. I don't care if that's too far. Take my hand and let's fly away to another galaxy. Hold me close, I want to feel your love. Together we are free. Just be with me just be nice little morning excursion yeah. blood flowing now we need to hide from the mosquitoes yeah they're bad all right we're driving to the next spot and we see mama moose with two babies she spooked though yeah they spooked a long time ago she doesn't like us here so she stays on the road though right. she might just hang out until we There they go. That's good, at least they're running off into the woods. Okay, so we just got into the Wrangler St. Elias National Park. Wrangell. Wrangell, sorry, Wrangell. <laughs> sorry, I'm tired again. I got my passport stamp. We got the passport stamp. We Our stopped and park. talked to the uh, ranger? ranger for a bit. Some guy that was a local dropped her off some Copper River red That's salmon. Bad in a bag and it looked good and I was like oh are there more of those like hoping he was like yeah yeah I got one for you right he did not just come and he give us offer. one <laughs> he did let us know he didn't have good luck today but there are a lot of them biting 
So we're going to need to look into a uh, fishing license because they were definitely... Uh, they look good. They look good. And they were catchable with the gear we have, which yeah. is kind of... Our fly rods have worked for them. They weren't huge, so uh, it might be perfect. Yeah, we'll have to see. And supposedly they're world famous, so they must taste good. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to go and check out the park. Uh, she says there are beautiful mountains all the way up on both sides of the road. And that about mile marker 14, it looks real good. Uh, there are two creek crossings. Well, three, I think. But the second one, she says, is like two and a half to three feet deep and running pretty fast. So it doesn't look like the van's going to make it. Yeah. She says it's got a soft bottom with a bunch of big rocks in it, too. So motorcycle probably won't make it. So we'll go as far as we can and check out what we can. It's raining like crazy, so we're not going to see any mountains today, but let's hope that it clears up so we can see them before we leave tomorrow. We were watching some TV, and uh, it's 11 p.m. It's still super bright out. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night last night to go to the bathroom at like 2 a.m. It's still pretty light, so if I wake up again tonight and Jess is awake a little bit, I will uh, show you how bright it stays in the middle of the night here. Um, I am updating our journal. Oh, you don't want to call it Captain's Log? The captain's Log, the Drifter Journey Captain's Log. Uh, we started this in Baja. The Greg started it actually, you can tell Greg's notes. Gibberishy. Versus mine. <laughs> and what else do we got going on this morning? Uh, we woke up to the clouds, so we still can't see the mountains. And we're going to have some tea and probably drive, since there's not really anything else to do out here. Yeah, we're going to go drive to McCarthy Road. Mm -hmm. And hopefully see some big mountains on the other side of the big mountains. And a volcano, the, the largest active volcano, is that what it was? Yeah. Largest active volcano, which if it's clear, supposedly we can see steam coming from the top. That's what the atlas is, I don't know how, how <laughs> accurate this thing is. And at the end of McCarthy Road there are some glaciers, so yeah. we're going to see if we can get up on... Kennecott Glacier. I think the other, the Root Glacier I think is the one more people are walking around, but yeah, Kennecott and Root Glacier. They look pretty sweet, so hopefully it's good over there. Stopping by the grocery store here, pick up some goods. Probably just a couple things. Uh, we've been running low and we won't hit another grocery store for a couple days, but we don't need to stock up. I don't even know what they have. This is supposed to have the best deals. Well, we left the camp this morning and drove in the rain and the clouds for a bit, trying to figure out what to do. And we ended up at this spot which we found on iOverlander, and we're now experiencing the three hour golden hour at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> but it's actually a really cool spot. It's uh, just roadside pullout right on this big ledge. You can see the Wrangell St. Elias range behind me. It's all lit up right now um, for sunset. And uh, we had great service here too, so we got some work done. And uh, yeah, it's feels like it feels like it's eight o'clock at night but it is actually pretty late um, but it's pretty cool it's a beautiful spot you don't really see much wildlife here but I'm okay with that it's just kind of mind-blowing I know I should be tired but I don't feel tired yeah pretty neat
Here's the fun stuff you guys don't get to see every day here. We are at the old uh, gas station. Gonna do some laundry. Scrounge up all our quarters there. So we had like 12 or $13 worth. Uh, but yeah, it's a rainy day here in Valdez, so we're gonna do some laundry and upload some videos for you. Well, we're here in Valdez, Alaska at the Point Park. We just saw some white bunnies, but they're running off because the birds were coming to eat them. But I see one still, so I'm gonna see if we can get close to him. Thought I'm running, he's taking a nap now. I'm gonna go for this white one first. Oh, they're both here. Both the white ones. So yeah, the Dock Point Trail in Valdez. Online, it said to watch out for bears. There might be big bears here. Problem is, if there are big bears here, we're on this little strip and there's nowhere for them to go if we run into them. So hopefully they're not chilling out of here. We are now going to tour the Solomon Gulch Hatchery in Valdez. Uh, this is apparently a big spot for pink salmon and the bears come here in mid-July and eat a bunch of salmon. Yeah, but so we might come back. There's a self-guided tour, so we're gonna check it out, maybe read some signs, and yeah, if the timing works out, we might come back to look at some bears. There's a big old seal. <laughs> 